Welcome. This is uh, video number four of five, and it's entitled, Ask Questions to Understand. So instead of listening with the intent to respond, the, intent, the purpose is to listen with the intent to understand, and you had an action step of calling your mom or your dad or perhaps a best friend or a family member and engage in a conversation that's all about them using the, the previous tools, which were to be interested to opine only when invited, and to respect your personal boundaries. This should look familiar. We covered it in our last video, and I'm going to review it and extend it. So what is the purpose of communication? Well, it's actually based on understanding. When you seek to understand what other people have to say, you create greater safety in the space. When you communicate with the intent to get them to agree with you, you're in the me pyramid, it's not safe, and you will get pushback. So when you try to have others agree with your point of view, you see you're attached to being right. If you have to be right, there's a good chance that means they have to be wrong. And there's persuasion and manipulation going on in that space. And when you're trying to prove your point, you're normally talking. And if you're talking, you're not listening. If you're not listening, you're not present. And if you're not present, you cannot, you will not, you never will build trust which is the key component. Trust and respect combined, mutual. Trust and respect equal emotional intimacy or um, interpersonal relationships. On these two functions, your happiness is, is your happiness based and your success. So remember we talked about how important it was to practice. So you've had three opportunities to practice the different things. Of course, last video was more about building a set of rules, rules of engagement. So we're going to do another practice, but I want to continue. So I'm going to ask you to uh, read this statement. If agreement comes, it is only after understanding has been established. And in your opinion, what is the most important word? It might be a good idea to stop the video because I'm going to show you what I think is the correct answer in just a second. So if agreement comes, it is only after understanding has been established. What does that mean? Okay, I'm going to show you the answer now. This is the reason I chose if. It is not a requirement to have agreement as long as you have understanding. Many discussions have I had with people that I have a lot of respect for where I did not agree with their point of view, but I did understand their point of view. That gave them a feeling of safety and a feeling of trust and respect. I respected their position. I didn't agree with it, and that's all right. Too often, and, and I would argue our environment's condition is, we need to get agreement. We have to have people agree with us. We have to have closure. Those are not healthy habits to be in, employing. And as tools, they're very ineffective. And then finally, personal empowerment is based on mutual understanding. So we understand doesn't mean we agree. And having that understanding will give each of you this sense that you're unified, not necessarily agreeing, but that you understand each other and that you're intimate. You have trust and respect. You, I, I have a lot of harmony with people I don't agree with, but I don't agree with them on some things, not all things. But they also know they can come to me and disagree, and it's safe space, and vice versa. All right, let's continue it. Seeking un agreement, which means if you try to get them to see it your way, it's a very insatiable process. In other words, you never get satisfaction. You always think, well, what else could I have said to convince them? Why are they so dense? Why can't they see the, the brilliance and the logic that I'm bringing to this discussion? You see, it becomes almost an addiction that we are attached to being right. Seeking understanding, however, is very satiable. It increases happiness and intimacy. It's not only satiable, but when you do it, you realize, man, that, that's really fun. I enjoy just talking for the purpose of understanding what someone else thinks without the expectancy that they're going to ask you what your, you think. So agreement is all about who is right, whereas understanding is all about what is right. We can't go forward unless we have a practice assignment, so this now becomes the how tool. 
what is important, but how to do what is much more important. So when you have your discussion in the homework, which is to call mom or dad or someone, um, you're going to use the responder's answer to formulate your next question. For example, what do you do for a living? Well, let's say the answer, I'm a purchasing agent for Cabela's. You now have two topics available for you to, to ask the next question. Purchasing agent and Cabela's. Anything along those two in the first sentence that they give you will always be the formation of the next question. This gives you the opportunity and ability to listen to what they're saying, having already developed the question. You don't need to now think about it. And one last thing, which I don't show a slide, but it's very important. As long as you're asking questions about their answer, you may interrupt them all day long and they'll never know it and they will never deem that as rude because you're giving them permission to talk about them. So as a reminder, your action step, call your mom, call your dad, call someone you're close to, grandparent, grand, uh, a grandchild, a son, doesn't matter. Call someone and have a nice discussion with them about them. Pay attention to how you feel. Be aware of the different tools that we've talked about. All right. You have a great day. I'll, t I'll see you later.